Uganda currently has over 30 public and private universities across the country and they all together churn out over 400,000 graduates every year. This is creating an enormous stress on the already stretched job market with an unprecedented 80% unemployment rate. NSSF, the government's national savings body, launched a month-long career expo in 11 universities to help prepare students for the harsh realities of life after campus and to create a spirit of winning in them. While opening the expo, NSSF's managing director Richard Biarugaba shared some personal experiences with the students, asking them to stop whining about capital to start up businesses. There won't be any money once you finish school. Nobody will give you an exam to test how you're doing in life, and nobody will give you marks for you to establish that you're successful. So your standards of success totally change as soon as you leave school. So how does success look like once you've gone out there? That's one question you need to think about. It's a fundamentally different environment than what you currently experience. Tony Glencross, Monitor Publications MD, who are partnering with NSSF in this expo, advised students on financial discipline, workplace ethics, and personal branding. Be careful what you post online, because what, now when we have people coming for interviews and internships, we do uh, an internet check and we look at what's being posted, what the individuals are talking about, what you're posting online, what your thoughts are, what the real person is. Because we need to know the real individual is coming to work for us, not the person who appeared in the interview with a polished CV. Mr. Biarugaba further challenged the youths to first study and understand basics of businesses they intend to start up instead of jumping into the industry without any clue. Starting off at a low job gives you the skills for you to be able to understand how do I run a business and use that as an opportunity to basically understand how will I run my business when I get it. Because when you get it, the most important person becomes the customer. How do I get there? How do I deal with them? How am I going to make sure that there is a service in the back office or what I call the operations to be able to satisfy the customer's needs? Students were advised to take available opportunities like the Expo to help advance their CVs and prepare for the job market. But after the degree, what are you going to do? Because the employer is looking for two, for one thing, entrepreneurial behavior. What does that mean? That you need the skills. We offer them to you. They are free of charge. Please come. During the interactive session, students were also asked to share their experiences and ask questions about entrepreneurship. But we got the challenge that, okay, I myself, I started my own business some few, few, months, few months ago. Though I have got challenges, I didn't see someone from KCC here, I got challenges that I started just like two months. No one had told me about it. I wasn't briefed about KCCA, rules, what, what, and whether my business was closed. I always tell people that we are in moves right now, but after some time, for you leave moves, to use the resources of moves, it will be expensive. So you better take the chance to use their resources, the, the incubation center. When you leave moves, it may, be a, it may be a bit harder to use the resources of the incubation center. But we need to take the opportunities now. The annual NSSF Monitor Career Expo is expected to benefit over 10,000 university students and it runs from the 6th of March to the 12th of April 2018. Sarah Bediomisho for Hotshot News.